Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to a brand new video of uh, the Hall of Legends uh, missions. So for this game, I'll kill some dragons, destroy structures, uh, get champion kills in a single game with crowd control as well. So I'll definitely pick Nocturne. So crowd control, Nocturne is the best champion. Uh, no, 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 don't ban Nocturne. Actually, what should I ban right now? Right now, let me see the... Uh, I feel like Lily has a good band, so is Brand. Actually, Brand is the better band. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, Nocturne's OP. But Brand is very annoying right now as well. Uh, I like Electrocute better than actually... Um, I feel like Electrocute is better. I mean, Conqueror is better for Endgame, but... I think Electrocute is very OP with the tree, Ultimate Hunter tree. It's very underrated. This is fine. Oh. <laughs> Lol. Trust I carry. Actually, what are the pros taking right now? Halo Blaze might work as well, actually. Yeah, Electric Kid is uh, definitely good. Conquer is good for late game against tanky comps, but against a uh, bursty. Uh, okay, Nocturne. Okay, okay, it is Conquer then. But I can't change, hello? I can't change. What? Uh. Hello? Is Nos it's Nasus jungle. If you can hear me, it's probably Nasus jungle or Yon jungle. I've seen Yon jungle and Nasus jungle before, so. And this is draft, so yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, so okay, low elo lobby, <laughs> and I'm gold four, so I think you can trust I'll carry. Yes. Yeah, you guys are all unranked and iron. I don't want to shit on them too bad, but there's no mercy, right? So, there's not really any mercy. But yes, I have to build a little bit tankier. I wanted Axiom Mark, but I guess I gotta, I gotta black, build Black Cleaver. And yes, I did uh, take uh, Conquer, but... No, I still like Electrocute better. Electrocute uh, does more damage. So yeah, I gotta build a black cleaver and the uh, stride breaker for the extra health and uh, armor armor reduction and penetration, which is annoying. Ah, uh, but I like Axie Mark though. Uh, it's a draft game, man. It's fine. I don't like everyone's playing for fun. Everyone's the iron. So I don't want to shit on them too hard. But yeah, I'll definitely Penta. Don't worry. Do not worry. But Black Cleaver generally is a good item, though. But yeah, I'll be doing the missions. And I will getting be getting the win as well. Easy dubs. So it's a Dragon's Structures. is as a team, right? So if we get all the turrets, I think this should be done. 
and then 10 champion kills so 10 kills and crowd controls automatically done okay let's invade i always invade no matter what invade invade Good job, fam.
녀석 Yeah, it's been a while, bro. Long time. No, no, no. Don't fight, don't fight. You're level 5. It's been a long time, bro. Yeah, I'm doing missions right now. The domination has begun. But it feels bad, though, right? So, I'm like literally like destroying them, so. Yeah. Where's Twist of Fate going? Is he going mid? He's just going the lane. Yeah, this is a draft game, so I'm just like teaching this girl how to play. Because she's not that... Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about last time, bro. I missed the messages because uh, I was really focused on the game. So, kind of missed the messages. But I did see it, though. I tried to respond, but you're already gone. So, it's okay, though. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, it, it still exists. But yeah, in some regions, actually doesn't exist. Yeah, like, uh, it's a normal game, yeah. I'm mainly doing this so I can show off the mission. should definitely reset uh i do like experimental hex plate but i think stripe breaker is the better item right now with the uh yeah with the additions i kind of want but the uh <clears throat> i kind of want the boots as well boots is kind of important to get to places faster but this yon is a bit of a problem yeah okay
Oh, really? Diamond? Nice, bro. Uh, TFT or normal games or what? What uh, type of game modes? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. You own's a bit of a problem. Mm, Dragon is up. Bad. Yeah, it's just kind of bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, we prep drag. Solo queue? Okay, good job, bro. Yeah, sir, if I don't respond, I need to concentrate a little bit. But I uh, will, uh. Yeah, that dude, that definitely you're good, man. If you're, uh, like, going to diamond solo queue, then you're definitely, uh. Definitely cracked than normal people. But mostly I'm just doing this for the missions and for shits and giggles because she's a new player. Not really, uh... Not really seriously, uh... What is that red thing there? I don't have smite, but I think it's fine. Lissandra just died. Everywhere is pinked. What the fuck? Why is it pink so much? We should just get the Herald actually. Objectives are kind of important.
What is going on right now? Why is he AFK? Man, this is actually losable. fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Why? Dude, what is going on? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know if we can win this. Yeah, it is winnable, but... Is this like too overextended? It is kind of too overextended, but I kind of want the charge. Okay, Nocturne is here. What is this guy doing? Bro, what are you doing? What is this? What is this guy doing, by the way? <laughs> Bro, are you guys serious? The fuck? What is this? Are you seriously gonna kill me, bro? The feed is coming. Man. What the fuck? Why? <sighs> he has five kills. 
YFK. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, but dude, like, you saw what happened. This Yon is very annoying, like. Yeah, I have one 4 versus 5, no, but not as Nocturne, though. Nocturne carry is kind of arguable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the Nocturne carry. All I'm gonna say is this game was easy dub into a... Uh, all out uh, troll atmosphere. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't know. I just two versus one, but okay, winnable. I will carry hard. Oh my god. No, I probably shouldn't split this hard. I know they're dead, but... Hmm... Yeah, they're gonna spawn. Maybe I could die for the turret? So it's fine. Kinda need something here. Yeah, they're coming. Yeah. It's fine. I got... I got the... Uh, turret. Yeah, I need GA. But bro, what is this game, man? Yeah, I need GA. Uh, black cleaver is probably best uh, for right now though. Definitely need black cleaver. Get some armor. Ooh la la. Yeah, it's four versus five. Oh, do I have all chat off? I think I have all chat off.
Bro, you good? Varus. Hello? Hello? Yes? Okay, oh my god. <sighs> yeah, I know, she didn't take the shot, and uh, I, I have no idea what's going on, bro, this game. Like, they're not... <laughs> they could have finished this 5, actually. We couldn't have held. Nocturne can't uh, really defend. So it's since they're not finishing, is they give us a chance. They could have just ram it down mid, and there's nothing we can do, because the Yon is fed and Yon is a diving champion, and so is uh, Lissandra. I think you already know because you're in diamond. But yeah, it, it's I don't know, matter this this game is hard. Am I gonna get banned? Yo, am I gonna get banned? <laughs> this Gnosis is like fucking epitome of low elo. Like, I don't really feel bad because, like, this guy doesn't understand what the fuck he's doing. How could he, like, do that without, like, anyone helping him? Yeah, dude. How, how did he, like, how did he in his mind think that, like, him doing it himself is gonna work? Like, I have no idea how many stacks he has, but I don't know what in his mind he was thinking that his damage is enough. Okay. Yeah, I know. But obviously their macro is kind of bad. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand why Varus, um, Varus, uh, quit in the middle of the fight. Maybe Vanguard. Okay, they're all here. Drag, drag, drag.
Yeah, I I just wanted to die so we can get the next dragon. Yeah, no, I just wanted to... Yeah, yeah, Loiter is a different game, bro. <laughs> it's a different species, bro. It's definitely a different species. No, I just died so we can get... Uh, we need the next dragon for soul and for fun. Thanks, fam. Actually, there's a chance we could lose. This Yon is a bit fat. with it.
GG. Yo, you played good, bro. Uh, I usually honor her, but yo, yo, I'll give it to you. You played, you actually played good. For, uh, yeah, you're a little, you actually played good. Definitely give it to you, bro. You deserve it. That, that first play is what allowed me to snowball, so, yeah, GG. <laughs> but no, no, you know what I mean, bro. I'm, I'm gold four, so. GG. You guys all played well, boys. <laughs> you see my rank now? <laughs> uh, yeah, GG. GG. Oh, uh, it was an emergency. That's fine. That's fine. It's not a big deal. I mean, we could have still carried. However, if they had any inkling of just sticking together and ramming it down our throats, we would have lost. There's nothing I can do. Because, because the thing is, we don't have any wave clear and we sure don't have... Uh, we sure don't have like true t like Tom can you were a tank but we don't have I mean I guess you could have stalled but no I can't defend I can't defend if I defend I'll die Nocturne is not a defender Nocturne is a assassin yeah. <laughs> well yeah uh, Nasus was saying mid diff because uh, because Yon saying jungle and top diff while oh you're building AP Kench dude do whatever you want man it's draft man dude I'm not mad you do whatever you want bro it's all good it's all good <laughs> dude you'll you play a bit more bro play a bit more it's not bad like do you usually play do you usually play uh, Tom Kench AP I mean, like, it is a bit troll, but it kind of works. Like, it's not bad. It is tank meta right now. I wonder... Try... Yo, try Leandri's, though. Try Leandri's. Leandri's could be better. If you do uh, Leandri's. Yeah. Like, if you do Leandri's, it's gonna proc, like, very, um... Very often. So, it's gonna be definitely worth. Yeah, I'm not sure about the... Let me check, though. Can you actually build Leandri's or like Rylai's on um, Tom Kench? Because you slow as well. That's actually interesting. It, it could be like a YouTube video. Yeah, Sunfire. So Sunfire and then um, you can build uh, Riftmaker. It's just a good item in general. And then if you do build like Leandri's, definitely build something like Blackfire Torch. Yeah, that kind of thing. How, however, no, no, you still need Heart Steel. Okay, Heart Steel is a basic component. You cannot exist without that because you need the stacks in order to, um, in order to have your survival and your health. So other than that, yeah, just build whatever AP item you want. It doesn't matter, as long as you play it good. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it means that you are get meaning. Yeah, but, yeah, do it in draft, but don't do it in rank, though. <laughs> because in rank, it's not meta. I know, like, dude, I know people have played, like, Volibear full AP or Gnosis full AP, but as you saw in that game, what what was Gnosis doing, actually? What the? Dude, what was this guy doing? This, this guy's, like, like, I don't understand what he was doing. Oh, Iron 2, okay. Makes all sense now. <laughs> Iron 2, all, like, everything makes sense now. Cause this guy, I have no idea what he's doing. Did he like? Did he even stack? Did he even stack? By the way, with the Q, like I know he had a lot of CS, but did he even stack? Oh, he actually plays Karthus. Okay, interesting. Respect, respect. But yeah, it, it, dude, if you're playing Karthus, drop this Nasus. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell is this, bro? Yeah, like, dude, you know how long you have to wait when the early Q you have to stack? Do you know how long you have to wait? Like, literally, you have to wait around, chase around the creeps until your Q, uh, Q, uh, reset, um, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, yes. Diff means difference. Yeah. It's just flip. Yeah. But honestly, yeah, honestly speaking, like, if this guy knows how to play Karthus, however, like, whoa, what the, f okay, I don't know. Holy moly, one hour game? Yo, you guys see this, right? One hour game. Yeah, yeah, GG's, bro. GG's. <laughs> one hour game. <laughs> one hour game. Yeah, GG's, bro. Go play more, but yeah, one hour game. Holy fuck. Like, this is a draft game, by the way. This is not even ranked. It's a one hour game. It's like a one hour, like, probably back and forth until the respawn time gets so freaking long that... Yeah, last game I just forced then because I knew if we go on longer, we have a good possibility of losing because uh, they kind of scale better. So I knew that if it goes longer, uh, yeah, I know it should one shot the jinx. But the problem with the Cartus right now is like after the Q and the E nerf, um, the damage is uh, not not there in terms of like ability damage. But alt damage and burn damage, yes, it's there. But everything else, yeah, it's pretty bad. But obviously this guy's um iron and iron players are uh not the greatest but but respect though respect like he's like getting the most damage so karthus is not a easy champion to play yeah yeah <laughs> uh, uh yes but it's okay i am we are not saying anything Secret. No, okay, okay. I can move the window. <laughs> but yeah, so I just played uh, to do the mission, and the mission was this one. And uh, so basically, what I did was this is the Hall of Fame mission for the. Uh, the uh, uh, Hall of Hall of Legend, not Hall of Fame. Hall of Le actually same thing. What's the difference? Hall of Legend, Hall of Fame, same thing. Because all sports league is just Hall of Fame. I was trying to do the uh, get ten champion kills and then get crowd control, and I just play with my friend who's kind of uh, new new to the game. So I just uh, decided to uh, play a draft game, and yeah, hence the S plus. And I guess I need so much more of these from um, to get a chest. But yeah, I did crazy damage. Like, actually crazy damage. And the first play was uh, good as well. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see me? Did you see me? Did Yeah, that's the difference between the high elo. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he couldn't hit me. He couldn't hit me. Whatever he wanted to try, and then when he did hit me, I activated the W. So it ignores everything. Nocturne W is a uh, two OP. When you activate Nocturne W, you literally block all ability except, okay, except like freaking I don't know what it is. The Lux Q always goes through the W. I don't know what that is, and Yasuo too. Like, Yasuo and Lux has some strange-ass uh, abilities. It actually sometimes goes through the W. I don't know how, but yeah, last time I experienced it. That's a bug, but yeah, it should not go through. Because Nocturne W should block everything. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely... Um, so, what were, what were he, he had typing before? You were typing before. But, dude, Diamond, dude, Diamond is very nice, bro. Like, goddamn, bro. You're actually uh, um, smurfing with the Emerald... Yeah, it's not an easy to uh, climb. Definitely well played. So what are you uh, maining? And what champion are you playing? Because uh, em reaching Emerald uh, is not the easiest. Emerald top or mid, okay. So you're playing the harder roles. Top and mid uh, carry is very hard. You have to know your timings. You have to know your macro and ma uh, ma macro and micro and everything. Ah, okay. Hyper care. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I like those champions, bro. Like, those champions are the GOAT when you uh, hard snowball. 
However, like even behind, like even behind the Aatrox Jax uh, is still relevant. Just some champions when behind is not relevant is those uh some some type of bruiser champions which is kind of rough. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. But yeah, this this is just this is just uh like how I play it. This is just textbook uh how I usually play uh, jungle in uh, ranked. However, like these guys I literally bully them, right? Like, even this Yon was scared of me. Yeah, dude, Ilao is, dude, Ilao is too OP. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Ilao is just so annoying, bro. Like, Ilao is, like, either, like, Ilao is either really OP or really bad. Depending on the matchup. Bro, I lost the, dude, I lost a bot game against Yorick. And, bro, Yorick Lethality, the ult, it does too much damage, man. Like, I, I don't know, Tyler1 started this trend with this freaking Profane Hydrant shit. Like, holy moly, the ult does so much damage, I actually died trying to escape. Yes, this shit is uh, illegal. It's actually illegal. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually illegal. Yeah, Ilawi right now is also OP. Because of uh, the current meta. Because the tanks are OP, so... Obviously, Bruiser slash Tank that does damage should be OP as well to, like, Poppy. Yeah, dude, Ilawi and fucking Yorick. Especially Yorick, I don't know. I don't know what is up with Yorick, man. Like, this guy, man, no matter, like, no matter how many, like, death he ints, just like Scion, he's still relevant. That's the problem. Like, no matter how many. Yeah, I know. Comet is even worse. Dude, I had a mid-Scion just go absolutely nuts and fucking just bash the basin. I had a scion do that in gold. Yeah. Actually crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Literally, literally, like, no response, like, we can do. I mean, you could, like, you could respond, but it slows you as well, right? That's the other big problem. Because it slows you. Like, I, I didn't know that it slows you. But, yeah, it slows you. So... Bec uh, no, this is Scion. Because it slows you, it makes everything worse. I don't know if Swifty Boots will will um, decrease the slow, but the slow is what usually gets people killed. Because people don't understand the yeah, slow. Like, the slow is very OP. Because I was confused to uh, why I was being slowed. And then by the time, like... Yeah, see? The cooling mist, the E... It slows by 30% for 2 seconds. And this slow just got me killed. God damn. Yeah, I just stack on the minions. And then once uh, you have W and then you have E and you have Q. Yeah, then yeah, it's GG's. Just run somebody down. And yeah, I experienced that in bot when I was trying to film the skin spotlight. And then, holy shit, I actually lost. Because I had the Guardian Angel, but the Guardian Angel was down. But man. And, and this game, yeah, I had the Guardian Angel uh, down as well. But last that that last um that last uh, the uh, engage I died on purpose actually to reset the gold. Yo, so do, 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 do. remember this, okay? If you don't have a bounty, sometimes resetting the gold might not be a bad idea. You know, champions being only worth hundred gold and seventy five gold feels bad. If you can reset the gold and just give them a glimpse of hope, and then reset the gold to three hundred, <laughs> no one's the wiser, right? But no, if you have a bounty, don't reset the gold. This is, like, I actually just reset the gold. Actually, like, that death at the end, it was not necessary. I just reset the gold. Like, sometimes resetting the gold is not uh, not that bad. Dude, I just, dude, I just noticed that <clears throat> everyone took flea full work. Yeah, flea full work is the, most of the people usually take PTA, but flea full work. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I did the uh, limit test. Because... Actually, actually, no, no, no. Part of it, like, I did limit test some of it, but however, I know my limits, so, like, I play Nocturne a lot, so I know his limits, and Gnosis doesn't know his limits. So that's why the first fight at the Scuttle, I knew I was gonna win, because he doesn't understand. Like, even Gnosis, like, even with alt, and even with his slows, and even with his Q, he'll still lose, because Gnosis' early game is terrible, and he doesn't understand that. So that's why he got fucked by me. I mean, I mean, yes, maybe, maybe if he like played, 
played it perfectly by ghosting out and waiting for the flea forward stack and then come back and try to bonk me, but no, I don't think so. Like, if you, like, play like that, then you're, uh, like, diamond at least. But no, no, like, kite it out and then come back. That's high, higher elo gameplay, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it feels bad, though. No, don't play, don't ever play in Nasus jungle. Like, if I see Nasus jungle, I fucking, like, on my team, I dodge. Like, bro, Nasus jungle is not viable. Like, Nasus jungle, dude, you should dodge as well. Like, see, S, like, it's S for top, but if you go to jungle, <laughs> it's unknown, man. It's unknown. Yeah, it's bad. Nah, it's bad. Not, not only, not only you can't clear fast, you have to take phrase rush to slow people down. You know, it's unplayable, bro. It's unplayable. Like, like top, yes, I understand the fleet for work. But taking phrase rush so you can gank people and using the W, you know, it feels bad. Yeah, I've seen uh, Nasus mid as well. No, I think it's all trash. Like, Nasus as a champion is not that great uh, to begin with. Nasus is only good in low elo. Is because uh, uh, lower elo players don't know how to play against Nasus. Yeah, yeah AP Nasus is decent because the E. If you keep on Eing somebody, they can't escape. And you can just uh, bleed them through. I have seen that before. I think I kind of experienced it as well. Yeah. With a black fire torch, or uh, with Ludens, with Comet, but yeah, it, it, it's just like it's just like you go out in the higher elo. Like Emerald is fine, right? You go to Diamond. See, see what I mean? You go Diamond. You go Master, Grandmaster. See, the win rate kind of falls, falls a lot, because Nasus is a late game monster, but early game is terrible. And in low elo, like, no one knows how to finish. So, yeah, yeah, like, like I was so far ahead that I just forced end uh, last game. So, that's from my experience as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, on lane bullies, uh, if you have AoE and you have poking down, like, for example, if you're playing, um, playing annoying champions uh, such as uh, Gangplank, <laughs> right? Gangplank, you can't dodge the Q. You just keep on queuing somebody. That's kind of illegal, by the way. Or like Vayne top, Gangplank top, all those uh, unescapable abilities, right? <laughs> like how Pantheon used to be. Like you can't do anything about it. They'll just keep shooting you in the face. And all you have to do is try to heal it back. But right now, Gangplank's not doing that well. It's because of the uh, meta change. How, uh, how Wormogs was buffed. You heard about the Wormogs buffs and you heard about the Mundo, right? The Mundo. Essence Reaver is gone. Yeah, Mundo's OP right now. Seriously, Essence Reaver is gone? Oh, yeah, yeah. The build path. The build path. However, however, hmm, I don't know, bro. It's hard to say. You really think Essence Reaver building out of the current path is good? Yeah, I don't know. Like, sometimes, yes, you should change the build path. But a lot of the items build out of a sword, and it's kind of awkward, you know what I mean? All the items require a, a sword. And to get a sword, it's like, it's really hard, you know what I mean? Like, unless, unless you farm well, like early game, if you don't, and you're behind, you'll never be able to buy a sword until late game. That's why, uh, like, it's, it's hard. Because, yeah, this is the new build path. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe the, um, uh, old build path was better. Or, uh, actually, no, this is still the build path. On, okay, yeah, but uh, honestly speaking though, like, them constantly changing the build path with the ability haste though, on, yeah, it's kind of weird, I used to be Sheen, okay, so yeah, that's why it changed, so yeah, it's hard to say, hard to say, like, what is the ideal, but yes, it's flat AD, right, flat AD versus 
Sheen, which gives uh, on hit effects, which is 2 OP. Uh, Triforce still builds out of Sheen, right? I think. 1300 gold. Yeah, Triforce still builds out a Sheen. But yeah, yeah, I, 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 I hear what you're saying. Like, this Sheen, the 100, man, plus 100% AD on hit. Like, like, who thought of this, dude? Like, obviously, this is overloaded. Plus 100% base AD. Yeah. And Trinity Force, um, Trinity Force give you movement speed. Yeah, full build on Triforce on Jax as well. And you know Jax uh, used to build uh, Essence Reaver as well, right? Something like... I, I used to build like Essence Reaver on Jax sometimes. Uh, TF Blade used to do that as well. And you can build AP. Like uh, Jax is a little bit flexible. But obviously it's kind of troll though. Trinity Force, Bork, and uh, that's the usual build. But Essence Reaver, yes. It is possible on Jax, but not recommended obviously. You only build it on Jax for the <coughs> on hit effect, but yeah, Shojin's a way better item. Uh, item. And Divine Sun Sunder Sky. Yeah, it is good for snowballing. It, you'll output more damage. I mean, he tried it, but I don't think he did uh, well with it. It was fine, but it wasn't the best item. Yeah. Like, Jax already uses less mana. He doesn't need the mana. It's just the on hit effects, and the on hit effects were, weren't that, like, OP OP. It was okay, not not the greatest, but yeah, honestly, honestly speaking though, right now for top this meta, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of not healthy. Like, like, I mean, like yes, tanks should be OP, but tanks like literally chasing people down, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of not healthy. I think we need a balance. Like, assassin should be able to kill the tanks, and then uh, tanks should also have an um, chance to kill the assassins if they play it right. Yeah, I know. Like, Poppy and, like, freaking Mundo is running wild. And, uh, obviously everybody knows about the Zack. Everybody knows about the Camille true damage. Gwen. Gwen. Yeah. All these champions do true damage, which is kind of illegal. And Malphite. Yeah, don't forget Malphite. Don't forget Malphite, man. He ignores everything. Malphite, Rush Bramble Vest, and game is over for certain lanes. Malphite is 2 OP. He just rushes Bramble Vest and he just stands there. Yeah, just rush Thormail and you can't do anything. It's game over. <laughs> yeah. Malphite is one of the uh, lowest skill cap champions. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes the thing is. Is some of the uh, like high elo players they just want to win the game so yeah you just play Malphite just get a good alt off and just don't even lane <laughs> all they do is just stand by turret and sort of hit minions but yeah don't, you don't even have to hit minions just 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 use your Q <laughs> who needs to even hit minions you don't even need to walk up just hit some Q's and run back <laughs> that's literally all you have to do but yeah it, it's kind of illegal though that's the top meta, yes. And then, as you can see, a lot of the skilled champions are, uh, yeah, a little bit far down. Like, for example, like Irelia, like Yon. Yeah, Yon is in a bad spot. Like Akali. Yeah. Some of the, uh, like even Cassante. But Cassante is still OP, though. Pro still play it. But honestly, though, yeah, I think uh, the meta should be, uh, like, not assassin focused, but it should be more balanced. Tanks are too OP right now. It has been like this for a while. And even after the patch, yeah, it's still the same thing. Still the same thing. But okay, let me just do a outro here. Yeah, it is getting late. But yeah, this was a good game. This was definitely a good game. But yeah, it, it was obviously like bots. <laughs> they were literally bots. It's like no saving grace. Actually, let me check what they uh, wrote here. I didn't uh, really carefully read. Imagine dying to the DC bars. It's pretty uh, GG. Little 39k. 
Yeah, actually, Gnosis almost did the same amount of uh, damage as Yon. That's funny. But Gnosis didn't really use the advant uh, the his damage to the his advantage. Like whenever he started getting low, instead of hitting me back, he just ran away. That's the low elo mistake. People panic when they think they're gonna die. I always win the trades because I yeah I never waver. Even if I'm gonna die, like I wanna kill him and then I'm gonna die. Like I don't care. Like I'm going full in. Like I'm prepared to die. If I die and get that kill, I'll trade the kill. It's fine. Yeah. DG should have stayed. Carthus. Ah, that's what. Okay, that's what I missed. He said I should have stayed Carthus. Yeah, I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. Even if you played Carthus, I'll still shit on him. Trust. No. Nah, dude. Unless your Carthus is like my level, a like gold level, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't think so, bro. <laughs> like, like, bro. He, he plays Karthus, he thinks he's gonna shit on me? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, like, they, he, they have a chance of winning if, okay, if, if he gets uh, a lot of uh, good alts and if he, uh, yeah, I know, I would just invade, yeah, exactly, just like I, how I did this game. I would just invade him all game, bro. Like, I literally lived in this jungle. Yeah, I know. I Dude, I play Karthus. Right? I play Karthus. I know how Karthus works. So, if you don't invade him early and he gets to um, farm e um, farm easily, it's going to lead to a deadly endgame. That's why you got to invade. No, I don't think so. This guy, this guy, like, he thinks he could have beat me. Like, I don't think so. Like, I'm not a noob like these guys. Like, dude, Iron 3. Yeah, yeah, bro, bro. Dude, I'm gold 4. Okay? I'm gold 4 for right now on this smurf. I don't think... Uh, there's any chance, any chance that this is going to happen. But yeah, I usually just uh, play to gold for the skins. And other than that, I don't really care. I mean, I was higher. I was diamond before. So, like, it doesn't really matter to me. As you can see, gold four. Right? I just keep these accounts at gold and get the Victoria skin. That's all I care about. <laughs> dude, okay. So there's a lot of, okay, there's a lot of talk about this, dude. A lot of talk. Okay, and the thing is, the thing is, bro, companies got to make the money and rich people are going to spend the money. Do you understand this concept? Right? Do you understand the concept? Like, people are going to spend their money the way they want it, the luxury, like, the, the basically their um, spending, spending, right? Luxury spending. Okay, okay, that's the term, yes. The luxury spending. So if they're going to luxury spend that money, However they spend it doesn't really matter, bro. They are going to spend it. So how about they just spend it on Riot instead of somewhere else? Instead of uh, buying a Gucci bag, you buy a Ari skin, a legendary Ari skin, right? So that's the argument, okay? Or, or you can have these poor people get the skin at a discount and Riot doesn't earn that luxury spending. So Devil's Advocate... I think I think Riot should just take their money. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. They should just take the money. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think like, I, I don't think just because they lower them, more people are gonna buy. Rich people are just gonna buy whatever they want. Poor people are just gonna struggle no matter what. So no, just just make it expensive. Yeah. Like, dude, I I understand the community uh, backlash, and I understand the uh, outcry. However, just remember, yeah, just remember, man. Rich people will always have the money, and poor people will always not have the money. So how can you ple please both demographics when it's capitalism? When it, yeah, of course it's too much, bro. It's capitalism. It's capitalism at its best. You know what I mean? It's capitalism at the best. And bro, this is not the end. Trust me, this is not the end. Okay? They're just testing the waters right now. Trust me, this is not the end. Dude, I can I can just envision it, bro. I can just envision it. After Faker, you know it's going to come? After Faker, then it's going to be uh, like, uh, uh, like a Chovy skin. Showmaker. You know what I mean? Chovy, Showmaker. And then the Shy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're going to keep on coming out with... Uh, coming out with these uh, Hall of Legend. Maybe they'll lower, they'll, yeah, they'll lower it. 
to maybe uh, 400, 300, 250. Yeah, thousand dollar skin bundle. Yo, yo, I can see it, bro. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, you're smart as well. Yeah, I can see it happening, bro. Thousand, yeah, thousand dollar skin bundle. But come, yo, come on though, dude. You saw my videos, right? Did you see my Ari, Ari uh, skin videos? Like, it's not even that good, bro. Like, I, I understand it's very complex and they put a lot of time into it. Like, it's okay. Like, I wouldn't say it's the greatest. See, I, I made a video on this. Like, it's not the greatest. I mean, it does have the back animation and everything, but... And yes, when in the loading screen, it moves. You saw this, right? In the loading My screen, brothers. it moves. My brothers and sisters. Yeah. It moves. And then, and then when you back, you have the recalls. But... Yeah, I don't know, bro. All, all, all I'm gonna, all I'm gonna say though, it's still a virtual thing, okay? It's still a virtual thing. Whether it's worth it or not, it's up to you. It's up to you to decide. If you like shiny things and if you like these type of uh, luxurious items, then yeah, then people are gonna buy it. Otherwise, like if you don't have money and you don't have choice, the choice is uh, <laughs> not up to us. So basically, you and me, basically. The choice is not up to us. Because you don't have the money to begin with. And even if they gave it to you for free, e yeah, even if they gave it to you for free, yes, you might enjoy it for a while or whatever. But the next skin that's expensive that comes out, you won't be able to buy it. So, yeah. You can try it on the PBE. So I already tried on the PBE. I, I, the, dude, I, like, if, unless you look really closely enough, as you can see here, it just feels like every other skin, man. I mean, the back animation is cool. And I, I guess, like, a lot of the animations are cool. Like, the faker face and stuff like that. But come on, do you really notice the details? Not that much, bro. Yes, all skins are available. Uh, the only condition... <clears throat> I'll show it to you. So, the only condition with the PBE... Uh, actually, there is no PBE conditions, I think. I think they relaxed it. I think you can just register for PB. But yeah, you can register. It's right here. Yeah, just go to Google and the public beta environment. See, just read. Yeah, there you go. See? See that now? There are none. It used to be, it used to be Honor, uh, it used to be Honor 3. <laughs> it used to be on their three, so you're lucky. Even if you're toxic, you can still sign up. Yeah. It used to be on their three. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, higher honor level. But here, I'll show you on the PBE. That's why I'm doing all the skin, um, skin spotlights on the PBE is because I have all the skins on the PBE. So you can try out the uh, the Gacha Gambling Gin one as well, the dark, um, dark cosmic eraser um, gin. You can try that out as well, and you can try out the uh, the, the other uh, like ultimate skins. Yeah, I got I got the Gun Goddess MF S somehow, somehow, some way. I just got it like straight out of a straight out of a orb. But I've been Honor Five for a while, so like as you saw, dude, I'm never toxic. I I might like I might like troll the guy I might like I, I might like fuck with him a little bit but come on like Yon wasn't really offended right I didn't say something like oh you're trash oh I'm gonna throw in the garbage can or something like that right <laughs> then I'll be banned and I'll get reported but it's just like friendly trash talking right that's fine but if you're hard on shitting on somebody no that's not fine. That's actually like damaging people's uh, <laughs> emotions, which is bad. So yeah, just just don't don't damage people's emotions. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. But but come on, man. Every everyone's like, everyone's fucking weak, man. You say anything, you say anything negative, and people are quick to jump the gun. E even when I was trying to troll with uh, Yon, and the Tom Kench was like saying like, "What do you mean? What do you mean?" Thinking that I was like blaming him or something. Like, even at that first uh, kill that he got from me where I baited the Yon, he was like, oh, I helped you, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, sure, you helped me, okay. It, even though it's your duty 
<laughs> literally chased me to your top turret but yes you helped me gg bro you're too good <laughs> so i just said something like that but yeah so here see here this is all the uh skins available everything's available and you can try them like if you don't want to play a game you can just easily just go into a practice tool right here go into practice tool yeah all the skins are available yeah so th th this is this uh, prevents buyer's remorse as you can see bro the dude I have to say out of all these skins bro I love the soul fighter Samir man this skin man this skin is worth his price okay this skin this skin man dude the arcade effects I think it's crazy I think it's really well done I think this skin deserves deserves the money I don't know how long they worked on it but I think this skin is one of the best this one's just cringe this one's cool this one's cool this one's kind of girly and this one uh, yeah whatever support so and this one's like weird I don't know I've never tried it so I will try it soon but yeah, so Soul Fighter, this one is good. I tried the other Soul Fighter, they're all good, pretty good actually. And then by the way, the Faker bundle, I know it's the Ari skin. Did you know that the Faker bundle also has other skins as well? Where's the other one? The heck? Where's the other one? There's a LeBlanc skin as well. Yeah, isn't that weird? There's actually a LeBlanc skin as well, part of the Faker package, which is not really talked about. I made a video on it as well. It's kind of weird, right? So it's called Risen Legend LeBlanc. And this is categorized as a mythic skin. Yeah, Soul Fighter Viego. I have one. I have that on my Smurf. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, LeBlanc one, the Risen Legend. It's kind of interesting. I tried it, and, dude, it's, like, not bad, man. It's definitely not bad. And then uh, they introduced some um, Crystal Mortella skins, which is actually kind of nice as well. But nobody knows about these because they've been released, like, hush-hush. Like, not much press, like, yeah. Crystal Motus Ash. This one's not bad, too. And obviously this one, right? The big, the big issue with this skin as well, right? The co Dark Cosmic Eraser Gen. Yeah, watch my video. LeBlanc is fine. Yeah. If you watch my video here, it's actually not bad. I, I used it. And it was kind of decent. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, the Gacha skin. The Gen one is the Gacha skin. But it, it is kind of worth it, though. I made a video on it as well. But as you can see here, there you go. So I used the Green Chroma. I wouldn't say it's on the level of the Ari skin, but pretty close though. Like it does have some details. Like Faker was legendary for the LeBlanc. But yeah, yeah, maybe it's underwhelming a little bit. But yeah, I don't know why Faker got an Ari skin. His LeBlanc and Zed was more, uh, those were more uh, famous actually. Like, I don't think LeBlanc would... I mean, I don't think Ari was that good on that figure. I think it's definitely LeBlanc. But yeah, the, here is the Gacha skin. Dark Cosmic Eurus Virginia. This one's the one you have to get out of the Gacha boxes. He, it was his favorite? Maybe. I'm not sure about that, but okay. Maybe. See, uh, according to the Hall of Legends, there was some lore here, right? So you're saying that it was his favorite? Yeah. But I thought that his LeBlanc was the best, though. Like, he he didn't really play that much Ari um, later on. I thought it was mostly LeBlanc. But, okay, so it must have been Ari then. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Ari's Faker's fifth most played champion of all time. Oh, okay, that's why. But the Ari's very, really underwhelming, though. As you saw, that girl that I play with, she, she only plays Ari. She only plays Ari, and she only plays Lux. And, like, like look at this, bro. Ari's not in a good state. Like, dude, 
Ari's like playable, but yeah, Ari's not in the good state. And the reason being is because Ari's not a burst. Ari's just a weird ass mobile mage. Yeah. Yeah, the kit is very straightforward, but Ari doesn't uh, burst such as Syndra. Syndra will just burst you. Yeah, she's kind of like an assassin, but Syndra is kind of in a bad state too. That's weird. Yeah, it is an assassin meta right now, actually. It is an assassin meta. Yeah, the Fury's back. Yeah, it's an assassin meta right now. Mm, Vex is kind of a mage slasher. Yeah, Diana. Diana's back. And then obviously the agency with Tristana and Silas is a fighter. Yeah. But Annie's always good, right? Annie's always good. That's why I told her to play Annie. Or just stuck to stick to Lux. Like, Ari's not that good enough. Ari, like, without the ult, she doesn't really have... Yeah, she doesn't have much of a kit. And yeah, like you said, it's straightforward. And then she could, she could maybe output the damage if you play played it well and you kite other champions out but come on don't you just want flat damage like Ari's autos do nothing right but Annie's autos and some champions autos yeah they do quite a bit but yes <laughs> Ari's autos do nothing just like Zoe yeah Zoe's autos do nothing as well but some champions such as um such as uh, the uh, Tristana and then uh, even Pantheon some of these uh, champions do autos do uh, quite a bit of damage, and the action obviously, action's been OP for uh, quite a long time. Mm. But yeah, I'm surprised the meta is now assassin again. But yeah, some champions like Katarina's unplayable, and Zed is unplayable too, after the nerfs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Invisible. Respawn. Everything, right? I have a friend in low elo. Like, he just pops off every game. Yeah. My diamond friend, he used to play as well. Uh, but the one weakness with Akshan is if Akshan is um, countered by somebody, such as, uh, like, a... Uh, stun cc type of champion yeah like all these champions here if he's locked down then yeah he can't if he can't move like if pantheon stuns him or lissandra ults him and he can't move then yeah he's dead that's the only counter to action yeah a cc lock like nico or a nivia ult yeah that's the only counter to action But yeah, honestly though, a good action player, no, you won't, you won't be able to lock them down. Uh, low elo action player, probably for sure. Yeah. But okay, yeah, I should probably head. But dude, it wasn't dude, dude, wasn't it funny though? Yo, it wasn't it funny though when I called Tom Kench a low elo player? That was funny, right? He got upset. He got upset. <laughs> he got upset. <laughs> That's funny, right? That's funny, right? He got upset. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth, and he's got upset. Like, bro, come on. Give me a break, bro. Give me a break. Yeah. Like, he got upset, bro. Like, I'm not, like, trying to shit talk him or shit on him. It's just the truth. Like, he's iron four, and he's getting upset. Like, bro. Like, bro. Like, like dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's just, is it just a team diff, bro? Is it just a team diff? Like, I mean, okay, he played well, but he kind of zoned out as well. Is that actually team diff? If I'm not in this game, can he carry? Can he truly carry? Hard to say. No. Lux carried. So, yeah, all, all I'm going to say is, yeah, he's low elo because he doesn't understand the basics of when to push and when not to push like like that push when i got the turret and i suicided for it i was prepared to die i know everyone's pinging me back but the reason why i die for that okay is gold reset plus the turret gold because if i get the turret gold or 400 500 uh, gold okay versus my death 
and giving uh, I don't have a bounty on me. Plus, if I die, I reset the gold to 300. Dude, it's a double whammy, right? That's why as a split pusher, you have to take that into regard. You're suiciding for the turret, but the return return on investment, if that is more like more than the risk of keep constant dying, then you take that risk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Low elo is literally just mechanics. Yes. That, that is completely true. Like, that's why when I tell people, like, I tell people, guys, it was like, I'm like, guys, all we have to do is just fight five versus five in the Baron pit, and everybody just comes and we just fight. <laughs> instead of saying, like, instead of trying to teach them, like, one, three, one, or something. I just say, everybody just go mid, everybody just come Baron, just fight. Because <laughs> I'm not going to fucking micromanage them. I'm just going to tell them, like, yo, yo, just come do this, okay? Just fucking fight. And whoever has the better team will win. Just coin flip it. Because sometimes they don't understand. Or, or you try to preach them 1-3-1. One, one, and then they're like, oh, so who should be the one on the top? Who should be the three in the mid? And who should be the one on the bottom? And they start arguing. Oh my god. And then I have these like, oh, like crazy ADCs that think they can solo push a lane. <laughs> and then they get caught. And then they get tilted. And start inting. And, and this is like gold, plat, and diamond elo, right? These crazy inting ADCs. And then there's like these games where crazy inting ADCs get so much, yeah, get so much done sometimes that their inting, their inting actually benefits the team because it relieves pressure. Because they're not worth any gold, they're only worth 100 gold or 75 gold. They literally push to the inhib turret, and sometimes you win that way. <laughs> so, so it's a coin flip. And the enemy team doesn't take advantage of the uh, uh, the uh, pressure that's being soaked up by our ADC. Instead of just five manning um, the rest of the um, rest of the map, they just ke keeps on re uh, repeatedly responding to it when they can easily just five man ram it down. Like I'm telling you, man, last game we could have lost if they seriously decided to tie me at the nip turret. It was over. That would have yeah, that would have definitely drained me. But that's why I was trolling them, though. Yeah, just remember it's mind games, bro. If you're if you're in a like a uh, mind game, like for example, that's why I was trolling them a little bit. If you like keep on like killing a player and then they actually start second guessing what they should do or even the mechanics wise, and once they do that, you go you just go straight in. That's where the killer instinct comes through. When people are in, indecisive, that's why the killer instinct when it kicks in yeah you just shit on them that's how mechanics work yeah <laughs> exactly bro the killer instincts kicks in and that's how i was about uh how, how i was able to kill the gnosis every single time because i know my limits like when i do run away i do run away it's not like oh i keep on inting or keep on fighting to death at the end yes i did run away because i'm not that stupid if I think the fight is lost, I'm not gonna fight that. No, I'm not gonna like fight one versus four. If it's one versus three, I'll fight that, but one versus four, I won't. Yeah. But okay, man. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And definitely uh, climb to Diamond, bro. You definitely can do it. And maybe you can climb to uh, Masters as well. You got this, bro. You got this. Top and mid carry. <coughs> and then just, just remember. Yeah, just remember uh, when you go higher elo, the macro matters more. Yeah, like your mechanics are not gonna carry you all the way. You have to know your macro. Without the macro, climbing will be very difficult. Relying on solely on your mechanics. I mean, it could be done. Yeah. Nice talking with you too, man. You are always yeah. You are always uh, consistently visiting my stream. So thanks for that as well. And yeah, have a good night. And I'll do my outro here. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and this is how you do the mission, okay, and I play with my friend here, and I got the uh, missions done, such as the um, the crowd control, as well as the uh, champion kills, so yeah, take care, take care as well. So yeah, if you like this video, definitely click the like button, leave a comment below for the YouTube algorithm, hit the subscribe button, hit the ring bell notifications for more videos like this in the future, and also please give me a sub if you can on YouTube, uh, I'm almost at 500 subs, and I'm I'm almost at 100 subs right now as of uh, I'm speaking, uh, that yeah, if I get 500 subs, I'll definitely bring you new content, TFT set 12 is coming uh, in two weeks, so definitely stay tuned for that, I'll uh, play some of that as well. 
and then also the new champion Aurora is coming as well. So okay, so take care, uh, Scooby Beers, and take care for everyone watching. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll bring you guys more exclusive content. Good night and farewell. Bye bye.